What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel today. I'm gonna to be breaking down what a full gym session would look like for a footballer. Full disclaimer, I am not a certified strength and conditioning coach and I'm not like a certified personal trainer or anything like that. The advice I'm gonna give in this video is based on my interpretations of the recent scientific data that I've been able to review and also my experiences as a professional player and then growing up in professional academy setups. So the idea of this video is to give you a framework to build off of whenever you're creating your gym sessions so that you can learn exactly what the most ideal gym session is for you. So kind of jumping into things, first off, we want to be able to differentiate between what our gym sessions should look like when it comes to the structure. And this study in particular actually showed that soccer players or footballers could actually get a better cardiorespiratory and metabolic response from circuit style training and also reduce their total training time by up to 66%. So the idea really is to get the most effective workout in and do it in the most time effective way possible. Another study showed that individuals who did circuit style resistance training versus traditional strength training had very similar improvements in their one rep max, peak power, and their shuttle run performance, but while keeping the athletes in the gym for a shorter amount of time. So circuit style training was just as effective as traditional strength training while taking less time to achieve the same results. For anyone who doesn't know what circuit style training is or traditional strength training is, basically circuit style training is when you're doing a number of exercises in a round or a circuit. You basically have little to no rest in between each one of those exercises versus traditional strength training where you would be doing multiple sets of a given exercise and resting for three minutes plus in between. And this study in young male elite footballers actually showed that doing contrast training gave greater improvements in their repeated shuttle run ability and their one rep max on their squat and in their counter movement jump than doing traditional strength training. And for anyone who doesn't know, contrast training is basically where you're doing a strength exercise followed by a power exercise and the strength and power exercise both are within the same muscle group. So the interesting thing about this study was that the one rep squat max, the counter movement jump, and the repeated shuttle run ability were all improved by doing contrast training. For the traditional strength training group, the only differences that were seen were the one rep squat max and then the actual size of the muscle itself. The study actually shows that contrast training is more effective at providing a increase in overall athletic output. So now kind of jumping into the structure around what a gym session should look like. And so obviously it's gonna be in a circuit style. So I've kind of broken up the session into two different blocks. The first block is gonna be your strength and your power block. And then the second block is gonna be more of your core, your corrective and your stability exercise. And the goal of the first block is to improve your strength and your power. And the goal of the second block is to reduce your injury risk. So jumping into the session here, the first exercise is gonna be the goblet squat. This is a plain and simple exercise. Then we're gonna go into the second exercise, which is gonna be the split squat jump body weight. And then after that, we're gonna go into the weighted split squat jump. And then we're gonna go into the broad jump. And this is gonna be the contrast because we're gonna go from the weighted goblet squat into the non-weighted split squat jump. And then we're gonna go into the weighted split squat jump and then into the broad jump. And then after that, we're gonna go into a single leg RDL. And this is just a very plain and simple hamstring strength and stability exercise. For the reps of this circuit, we're gonna do five reps with a really good weight with the goblet squat. And then we're gonna go with no weight, obviously for the body weight split squat jumps. We're gonna go with around 10 to 12 pounds for the weighted split squat jump. And then we're gonna go with no weight for the broad jump. And then we're gonna go for 30 to 40 pounds with the single leg RDL. We're gonna do four rounds of this circuit with around two to four minutes of rest. And it's really important to go for a weight that's gonna challenge you for every single one of the exercises. So now moving on to the second circuit, which is gonna be that core and corrective stability exercise circuit. This circuit is really centered around injury prevention. So the first exercise is gonna be the plank bird dog. Absolutely love this core stability exercise. And we're gonna go for eight reps on each side for this one. And then we're gonna go into the second exercise of this circuit, which is gonna be the V up. And we're gonna use between 10 and 12 pounds. And we're gonna do 12 reps of this one. And then the third exercise in this circuit is gonna be the wall sit. And this is the first injury prevention exercise in this circuit, which is mainly for the patellar tendon. And we're gonna hold the wall sit for a minute. And then the last exercise in this second circuit is gonna be the Copenhagen hold, which is another injury prevention exercise for the groins and we're gonna hold it for 15 seconds each side. For this second circuit, we're gonna do three rounds with around a minute to three minutes of rest in between. Now keep in mind that with the circuit style training that we're gonna be doing, we're not resting in between each of these exercises, but you're resting at the end of the round of these exercises. If you enjoyed this video, definitely drop a like and subscribe to the channel and comment below what you enjoyed about the video and let me know if you have any questions. All right guys, I'll catch you next time. Peace.